Good afternoon, George Cavaligos for HFT Bonds, TGIF. Straight up today, uh, I think we had one little dip this morning and it held the important support level at 132.05.06. Market bounced right off of there and was off to the races. <clears throat> Set up at the highs and closed near the highs here this afternoon. I gotta imagine we're gonna see some kind of higher high. Bonds did not make a higher high. 148.04 was the old high. They uh, stalled out against 148.02. So I think the whole thing sees a little bit higher highs here, either this, later this afternoon. It's just after the uh, pit closes while I'm making this video. So I'm thinking we get a little bit of a higher high this afternoon or into Sunday night, and then maybe a pullback barring any surprises. Um, we've got bullish weekly reversals. Um, remember we made lower lows uh, couple days ago god yesterday amazing and now we're poking higher around the recent highs of the range so i gotta imagine we're looking at high, at a test of the old lows in the tenure it's at 132.26 area and on the bonds it's a long way up there we've got a long way to go before we get to the sim similar uh levels that we we're only a stone's throw away in the tenure i guess um, the bonds, we got to go all the way back up to what, like 149 even. So another point higher in the bonds and another, what, quarter of a point higher in the 10 years, and then we'll see what happens. It's tricky now. Um, you know, you got these powerful weekly closes. It tends to suck in, you know, some new longs here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a bit of a dip uh, Monday or, you know, Tuesday. Um, I think probably, uh, you know, going into Monday, we see the BOJ uh, meeting Monday night. They're talking about another big uh, QE program. Um, it's got to be big, otherwise, you know, it'll be disappointing for the market again. I I'd love to see the market trade up to 20 half in the tenure. That would be the fifth wave equal to the first wave on this rally. And then a pullback back down to like 06, 08 area to be the, you know, 50% retracement of the rally based on, you know, this 20 half high that I'm envisioning. So that's kind of my game plan here. Look for a slightly higher high and then a pullback. Um, I'd say you probably want to buy dips. I'm looking for a dip into that, you know, 06, 08 area. Put a stop below the previous first wave high at 04. And then uh, if the market's going to be uh, bullish here, we should see the market do uh, a reversal from that area. You might want to wait for a reversal and, you know, jump on board. I still think uh, the keys on the upside is that 132.26 level. That was the big, remember how much trouble we had getting below that area. We finally broke below it, went down another point to 131.22. Uh, and now I think we go back and test that uh, big resistance area, 26, 27 on the 10-year. I don't know if the bonds can get all the way back up there. We've got a bunch of stumbling blocks ahead of us. Um, 148.04 is obviously the old high. We haven't got there yet. We're trying. We're at 148.02 right now. 148.08 is a big uh, Fib retracement level. And then you got uh, the big 50% uh, retracement. Uh, oh, we're sitting right there, 148.04. And then uh, above that, 148.20 is the uh, 618 retracement. So a lot of stumbling blocks, but I think the market's going to be one of these herky-jerky, you know, three steps forward, two back, three steps forward, two back. And that's based on, you know, some further equity uh, weakness here. So... That, give that a caveat. We actually are putting up a minor bullish reversal on the uh, equity markets. It's early. Um, the spoos are only up a point, and the Nasdaq's up 14. Made lower lows last night and this morning, and now we're going to try. We've still got another, uh, what, 45 minutes before the equities close. If they close positive, it's going to be <laughs> the rising tide that raises all ships, I guess. <laughs> so that's it. Didn't do much today. Had one... Uh, bad trade in the bonds and uh, I didn't want to give back everything I made yesterday so that's it having a great night have a great weekend we'll see you guys on the Twitter feed uh, make sure you're all on there and uh, I'll see if anything happens Sunday night I'll keep you updated have a great evening